using crew AI with human inputs. For those of you who watched my videos yesterday, I uploaded um, a crew AI demo or a test in which I built two type of crews that were supposed to write to help me write free cold emails promoting my offer like my real offer which is selling a solution that provides generation of video creatives for direct to consumer brands and agencies in my comparison yesterday uh, i've created two different modes of running crew AI basically one mode had consisted of three different crews one was the writing crew the second crew was the revising crew and the third crew was the revising plus rewriting crew and the second mode consisted of one crew one task only which was broken down into various steps and it only had the boss the direct-to-consumer CMO as the dictator or the boss of the crew and he had delegating abilities and what i did today i wanted to test a different method in which we included a human input into the generation and this makes crew ai a bit more similar to autogen um, allowing us as humans to provide input to uh, the generation of the code and the output. And this is very interesting. Um, and I will share with you the results in a moment. Before I do so, let me just let you know that I'm uploading um, the code to this GitHub repository, uh, which I will share in the, in, the sh in the links of the video, in the descriptions. And um, regarding the human generation, the addition of the human input into the generation. You can learn more about this in the Langchain uh, tools library. And I will also share links to this uh, resource in the video uh, description. And you can see here human as a tool. All you have to do is copy this and this. And basically, in Crew AI, in your script, you just need to add that you're using human as a tool. It's pretty straightforward. And again, you can see everything over here in this code. So basically pulling, using this, like importing the methods, then importing the human tool. And when in any agent that you want to use the, the tool, you just add it here, tools, human tools. That's it. Uh, and obviously you need to ask the crew AI to use the input in the, in the actual flow while processing the task. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the code. Let's cover everything. So over here, we are loading the human to tool. Over here, you need to add your OpenAI API key. Here uh, in opposing to yesterday, I removed a few agents that I felt were redundant. So today I only had like the email writer, which is the first agent. The second agent, which is the, the direct to consumer CMO. Uh, so, and I also added uh, the human tool to him. And I had the copywriter, which is in charge of criticizing um, the email content as and as a backstory, he is a copywriter with extensive experience in persuasive writing. Now, and uh, when defining the task, what I did is I broke down the task, only one task, but I broke it down to many steps. And I also asked uh, the crew to take into account the fact that we want to ask the human for advice on how to write a cold email. And again, also in the first step, fourth step, I told it to make sure that we take into account the feedback from the human, which is a tool provided to the direct-to-consumer CMO. Now let's check out the generation. Okay, so here we go. Working agent, direct-to-consumer CMO. This was the task. 
entering the task, do I need to use a tool? So it realizes, yes, the action is human. So the action input is, what are some key points to consider when writing a cold email for selling video solutions? And this basically asked me to provide feedback, which, which is cool. And this is what I was missing yesterday. I, I felt that I didn't have ability to control the generation. So in opposing to Autogen, in which a human feedback, we can decide if we want to have like human feedback every every like round or after every any message in the conversation so this was in my opinion missing and now i'm very glad that i found this so my pointers was whoa make it very very short highlight the unique selling proposition make sure to emphasize zero risk on the prospects end call to action should be a casual ask if you can send uh, them a two minute video explaining the solution from here on, it was pretty much going back and forth. Um, the, the suggestion of the emails, then the director consumer CMO as uh, gave a feedback and the copywriter provided feedback. It just went back and forth. It didn't ask me again to provide any feedback. It didn't involve me from this point onwards. And at the end we had free cold emails, templates, and I will share them with you right here in this table. And the table is an addition. We added this column to the result from yesterday. As you probably remember, if you viewed the video and if you didn't, so in this table, we have the free cold emails from each generation of the cruise. So this was the results provided by the free cruise broken down. This was the results provided by the delegated crew which had only one task and this is the results from today which is a delegated one crew one task with human input now uh, let's see what were the results so the first cold email was hey there we've built an advanced video editing solution with the sole pur pur purpose of making your life easier it's user friendly zero technical skills required and it's a real time saver we're so confident that you love our solution. We're offering a no strings attached risk free trial. If it's not a good fit, we will part ways. No hard feelings. Can we share a quick two minute video that dives into how our solution can enhance your video editing experience? Okay. So this is the first template. I mean, first uh, draft. And as you can see, it did take into account my suggestions. I like the call to action, which is a uh, proposing that we send a two minutes short video. I like the fact that it uh, makes sure that the prospects understand that there is zero risk on his end. Now let's see the second variation. Hi, we've created a state of the art video editing solution that sets uh, to transform your editing workflow. It's intuitive to use, requires no specialized knowledge and can turn hours of editing into a breeze. Because we believe in our solution, we're offering a risk-free trial. If it doesn't meet your needs, we understand completely. Would you be open to receiving a, a concise two-minute video that demonstrates how our solution works and a signature? And the third alternative is, hello, we get it. Video editing can be time-consuming, but if it but if but it doesn't have to be. We've designed a revolutionary video editing solution to simplify your process. Our tool is, in, is incredibly user friendly, requires zero prior experience, and is a significant time saver. We're so sure you love it. We're offering a risk free trial. If it isn't a great fit, no problem at all. How about we send over to a brief two minutes video to show you our solution? It can be a changer for you, a game changer for you. Okay, so obviously this isn't so precise because my solution isn't uh, exactly for video editors, it's more of a solution to direct to consumer brands and agencies, but this doesn't matter. I didn't provide enough context uh, in order for it to get it right. But from a structural perspective, I do like what I'm seeing. And I also feel that these cold emails are significantly better uh, than the alternatives. Um, I assume that if I would have provided my guidelines in the tasks, when I was when I created uh, both of these scripts, um, 
it probably would have taken this into account and it probably would have turned out to be better. But uh, again, I'm not comparing apples to apples. I'm just testing out the abilities uh, of Crew AI. Um, and, as, uh, and again, I like what I'm seeing here and it's probably because of the fact that I was involved and I made it a point that when generating the emails, the drafts, it takes into account my feedback, which was, as you probably remember, keeping it concise, making sure that the prospect realizes there is zero risk on his end and having like a short call to action, asking them if we can send a two minutes video. Um, I will keep on, um, I think it would be cool if I will keep on building more um, tests on this use case. And at the end, I'm hoping to learn which is the best way to optimize and generate a code or output using Crew AI. I will share this file um, with you guys just so you can compare. I mean, not sure if I will share this or not. Let me know if it's, if you're interested. I will I will share it in the next video. And um, for now, I will just keep on building on top on, of this. And at the end, we will be able to compare between the different outputs. I guess that's it for today, guys. Uh, a very short video just showing how we can involve human input into Crew AI. As you've seen, it's very straightforward, very easy. You can leverage any tool provided by, by Langchain. In this case, it was human as a tool. The sky is endless. Uh, this is a joke that, uh, like, never mind. It's, it's something that funny that I said a few days ago in a video. And I realize it's not that funny, but the options are limitless. Um, again, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or feedback, I'm happy to hear feedback. This actually improves uh, my abilities. You guys shared some awesome feedback to, uh, on the videos yesterday and the day before, and I'm taking all of this into account. So please provide feedback, whatever feedback is, is it's great. Um, because I'm trying to improve my video abilities and the way that I'm automating. So feel free to share. And until next time, keep on automating.